guys, Becky here and Allie from Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. Uh, we have a show coming up this weekend in Little Rock at the Arkansas State Fair and we're going to get the rabbits ready for show. So stick around. <laughs> brush him and I guess talk about the show this weekend so yeah he decided to volunteer oh yeah Sorrel's a good bunny now one of the things that we have to watch out for especially I get it seems like it's it is somewhat worse than these senior bucks and senior does seem like they want to get this <laughs> fur matted up around their backside it can either be because if you've got something in their in their cage that they can sit on a lot of times they will pee on it and while they're sitting there and instead of the pee just falling through the wire and ending up on the ground underneath it'll kind of run around and then their then their fur soaks it up and they get their fur all matted around their backside and while that's not ideal we do like to have when we can we like to have something in the cage that'll help them you know to where they can get up off, off the wire if they want to you know there's the age old and classic argument about wire cages and how they call sore hawks and well, you know, that's a bunch of baloney, but I, I'm not going to sit here and say that we don't want to have something, at least something in the cage at times to where if they want to, they can get up off the wire. Some of you folks have watched our video in the past about the ceramic tile. Now, the ceramic tile did a good job for what we wanted it to do, but here's what we found out. 90% of the time, even through the summer, when we would go to the rabbitry, they would, they would be laying on the wire, stretched out. They they wouldn't they wouldn't they would ignore the tile, now at least ninety percent of the time, and usually if they do sit on the tile, it's just because that tile happens to be in the corner that they wanted to sit in at that actual moment. It's not because they prefer being off the wire. Okay. Anyway, that that said, uh, Becca is using just a regular. It's a cat. I guess it's I guess they're for cats, right? A slicker yeah. brush. Okay. Some dogs, we, so. we find them in the pet aisle. I, I think they're mostly for cats, but anyway, and it helps pull out any of that loose fur. You've seen me show you guys. I'm going to step around here in the way, hopefully not too bad. But you've seen me show you guys about wetting your hands and just giving him a rub. Well, Sorrel's in pretty good shape. He doesn't really have any fur coming loose. He, he went through a pretty extensive molt here. What was it? About a month or so ago. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was molting a little heavier. That was kind of one of the things. I think when we went to Murfreesboro, we had, uh, I think it was Sorrel and somebody else that just started into a molt. Now, what she's doing is, one thing, these things are kind of kind of sticky, so, we, you, you know, you don't want to get too carried away because they, it can be kind of rough, but what we're doing is we're working, she's working through there, that fur backwards, and, you know, there's, there's people that are going to say, and I'm not sure that I don't agree, that this stuff is not even necessary, okay? If your rabbits are in good coat, they're in good coat, and there's really not anything that you need to do. But, look at this guy, okay? He is just enjoying the heck out of this, so why not, you know? Why not, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> if he, as long as he's not, but see right back here around the back, a lot of times you'll, you will see mats where... Like I was talking about, see there's matting right there. Yeah. Sometimes I just have to take those with my thumbnail and kind of pull on them a little bit to kind of straighten them out. Okay, um, to clear those out. But uh, I think I've mentioned in a couple other videos, Sorrel is going to the show this weekend. Um, we've got uh, Gemma down there on the end. And then that one. And then that oh, by the way, folks. Don't look at these cages hanging here on the right hand side because we were supposed to do a video and show you that after we got it done. Well, we've still got one cage left to hang so we don't have it done yet. So we can't make that video. So y'all don't pay any attention to these cages on this right hand <laughs> side. We'll, we'll show you those at a later date. <laughs> but uh, but the on the far end of these cages that you're not supposed to look at, there's Gemma down there on the right hand side. Just this side we've got... Yes, are you ready for this? We've got Hugh Hefner over there. <laughs> Y'all thought he was dead. No, 
he's reincarnated into a bunny. <laughs> Not really. I don't believe in reincarnation. But uh, we named him Hugh Hefner down there. We're going to call him Hefner just because we don't like saying Hugh, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, he's down there. And that and we needed an H for our tattoo system. So <laughs> he's going to stick around a while, hopefully. And he is going to the show this weekend. Uh, he's going to show as a junior. He and right over here. I'm going to tilt the camera for just a second. Right up here, these two ladies right here, this is Lucky. And the other one is the doe to be named later. She is a, gray, a Grubbs and Annabelle doe. Um, she's born, I think, in May. She's a month younger than Lucky. Now, Lucky is leaving. Okay, she is going to a new, a new home uh, this weekend. When we go to the show, she's going with us. She's not going to show, but she's going to the show with us, and she's going to be picked up by her new owner, as long as well as uh, Grace Hollows Romeo, our almost two-year-old, well, he's about a year and a half, old uh, herd buck. He's going away. He and Lucky are going to a new home, and uh, we wish their new owner the very best of luck with them. Uh, I know they'll be pleased. Uh, Lucky is going away. She is going away carrying a litter of bunnies. I have palpated and confirmed that. She is pregnant with a litter of bunnies. She's pregnant by Sorrel. So, uh, this, 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 uh, this young guy that's picking these, guy, these rabbits up, he's going to have a nice new addition that'll hopefully help him, uh, help him improve his, his red, uh, New Zealand red, uh, rabbit program. Mm -hmm. So, back around here. Look at this. Now, can y'all see why Sorrel enjoys being pampered so much? Look at him. He's got both of these lovely ladies just giving him so much love and attention. And you know what? If, if they stop giving him attention and just stand there, he will raise up and he will actually move towards them. Yeah. Back up, back up j back just up a little bit, Allie. No, pull your hand back. Pull your hand back and leave him now give him a second and watch, watch what he does. See? He's like, hey, you stopped. What are you doing? You're supposed to be petting and loving on me. Boy, don't he look mean looking at the camera like that. <laughs> he, There's not a mean bone in him, though, folks. I assure you, he is just the biggest baby you've ever seen in your life. He's so funny. He actually so, a dog. So happy to have him. So happy to have him. We've got, uh, we've got multiple does, I think, I hope, uh, that are sired by him. I don't know exactly, I don't have a list, I don't know exactly who all bred with who, so I'm not going to go into that exactly all on this video, but we'll get to that in the future, hopefully next week we will be bringing you some rabbit updates involving new litters. We have, starting, starting on Wednesday the 19th, we have, how many, four, five? We're going to have at least between, from the 19th, let's see, the 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, we're going to have at least one doe per day due those four days. That'll be over over next weekend, okay? And then we skip a couple of days, get to the 26th, and I think we've got a couple more does. So between, in the next couple of weeks, I think I had it figured up, and we've got eight or nine, if they're all pregnant, we've got eight or nine does set to have babies. So we are looking at a just... A population explosion about to happen here and uh, a lot of exciting uh, we've got uh, many wrecks we've actually got babies from all three I apologize folks we got a couple of crackhead cats going nuts around here in the background but they're kind of they're kind of they're kind of funny to watch but they're kind of distracting when I'm trying to talk to you folks but uh, anyway anyway uh, <laughs> back to the business at hand but we've got uh, We'll see, we're going to have, we've got a dwarf, a breed of dwarf Oto, or a litter of dwarf Oto rabbits. That'll be our first litter of the breed. We've got mini Rex coming. Well, let's see, who, who is due next week? Delilah? Delilah. Jada. 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 Cherry. Cherry. Yeah, I think Kira. I don't, I don't think Kira's, remember she was a couple weeks behind everybody else yeah, because she was oh. feeling poorly and so we waited. Is Leah and Sarah, Sarah? Uh, Leah... Sarah, I don't think Sarah is Sarah is bred, but we can't confirm her pregnancy. That'll be late about this time next month. Okay. Um, 
It seemed like there, I know there was one more doe. Okay, we also have Marcy who is due on the 19th. She's our big red New Zealand doe. She's due on the 19th, I think. Yeah, yeah she's not due, I don't think, until the 22nd. But we've got, uh, on the 19th, I think it's Delilah and Marcy due. So, we, so we've got a mini Rex and, and a New Zealand. Uh, this is all just kind of subject to change because I don't I don't know that I've got this right. My memory is not the best in the world, so my kids keep reminding me. Uh, and you know, uh, but the good news is is I've got a system on my computer that helps me remember all this stuff that I can't remember. So how's he? So how's he looking, sis? Looks good. You think you think he's ready to strut his stuff for the judges? I think so. Okay, so so who are we gonna are we gonna try to are we gonna try to work on on Hugh Hefner a little bit? Yeah, we, uh, I'll work on Hugh. For he's kind of new. Everybody hadn't got quite as good a look at him, so we might uh, pose him up and let everybody take a look at him if you want to. If you can, if you can get him out of there. Hello, bunny. Oh. Hello, bunny. Yep, he's a new bunny. Yep, he's shaking. You scared him to death. I did. Okay, yep. Pose him up there. Yep. Ten feet set. I don't know. He's still a young guy. He's somewhere in the neighborhood of four and a half, five months old. But we're just happy with the way that he's turning out. He is a Romeo. And this is one of those Romeo and Marcy bucks. Remember me talking to you about, you know, flat butt, no butt, and all that stuff, and shoulder, no shoulder? This is what we get when we mix Marcy and Romeo. Now, he's not the only one. We've this is the one we kept, okay? There was two other, there was another buck, this one, and there's one more. But uh, he, he's digging them toes in. And yeah. That's he's also bit, trying to push, too. That's a little bit much. But anyway, he is, you know, for red, he's not bad. Uh, we just wanted to get some comments from the judge on him, see what the judge thinks of him. He's nice and meaty. Well, well, Flesh, look at this loin. Yeah, this is good. See how he's nice and round here in the hind quarter? I'm hoping that the judge sees all this stuff, the same things that I see. But the judge could also point out some things that I don't see. And we'll just see that. I mean, a lot of times that's why we take them to the judge. Uh, because I have taken some rabbits that I thought were just wonderful, and the judge just hated them and pointed out things that I didn't even, you know, I didn't even realize. But then there's been other times that we've taken rabbits just because that was what we had. <laughs> <laughs> and the judge would just absolutely love them. So it could go either way, you know. But we just want to, a lot of times, see, you, you want this tail. See that, how that tail's nice and white? Folks, you can't do that in a plastic bottom cage, okay? It just won't happen because what happens is, is they poop and pee, that bedding soaks it up, and then they set in it, and at the very least, it's going to turn this all yellow, mm. okay? You see, you start looking at him. See, he's not all matted up. Thorough, he's an older guy though, and he's all matted up on the back side, and he's going to need some work. He's going to he's going to need some more work on that, and what have you. But these these little young juniors, you know, they haven't uh, they're they're doing okay, and uh, what have you. So this is Hugh this is Hugh Hefner. Here we'll turn him. That's the back view. Here we'll turn him around real quick. Pose him up, sis. Put his toe in there. He, yeah, he just he <laughs> wanting to back up on you. Oop, nope. That ain't gonna work. There you go. Get in there like you're supposed to be. There you go. Now mash that hair down. There you go. He's looking pretty good. Pretty good. He's still got some growing to do. A lot of growing to do. And what have you. And uh, we're just gonna see if the judges think thinks he's as nice as we do. If not, we'll just bring him home and eat him, I guess. <laughs> you know, it happens. But, uh, but yeah, we uh, we got Romeo going away, so we thought, well, this is Romeo's son, sired, or, or uh, son out of Mar with Marcy. And we thought, well, you know, why, not, why don't we just, we got him, we, we, we were gonna hang on to a Romeo's son anyway. And so we're going to hang on to this guy. And we've got a doe over here out of Grubbs and Annabelle. So we'll see how they all do. I've got a buck. Two bucks. I've got two bucks left out of Grubbs and Annabelle. If anybody needs, uh, in the region, needs a nice red buck. 
I've got two nice red bucks. They're a little bit light in color because they came from a broken parent because Grubbs is a broken, but they are still just super nice, you know. Uh, color aside, they are super nice. One of them, one of them, if somebody just wanted one to make produce some meat or something in the backyard, he's got a bit of an ear carriage issue. You wouldn't even look at his teeth. <laughs> his right ear, his right ear is not being carried correctly. The other one is just, he's, he's great. He's, he's, he's ready to go. But uh, anyway, that's what we have. Holler at us. Becca, is there something there you wanted to demonstrate? I was going to look at his teeth, but he's like, no, I don't want anyway. Well, you got to show him his boss. <laughs> okay. Grab it. Get his ears. No, peach his ears. Peach. There you go. Now, with these, with this skin, get a, get a handful of hide. There you go. Now, put your... Put your hand back here. Now put, roll him, roll him over. There you go. Okay, okay, there we go. I got now him. lay him on down. There you go. Support him with your hand. See, there you go. Yeah, I got him. I didn't have him good. You can brush his stomach. Now, he's going to the show, right? What yeah. color do all his, he's a red. What color do all his toenails need to be? Brown. Dark. Dark. Oh. And as long as they're not white. They're or all... transparent. So check all those. Make sure we've got all colored toenails. And he is a buck, right? Okay, that's what we entered him as. Okay. Is his tail nice and straight? Yeah. Okay. No breaks in the tail then? No breaks. No spots? No no odd colors anywhere that aren't supposed to be? No. Well, I'd say he's ready to see the judge then. Yep. No. His teeth look good. Yeah. Nose clear? Nose clear. All righty. Cool. There we go. Good brush. deal. That's what we want. Good boy. I'll brush, brush him. All right. <laughs> okay. So who's next? Gemma? Jimma. Okay. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is a con air pit. Con air pit. You know where that came from? Where? You know where the name of the specialty agency that provided that was? At the Fred's. Van. Fred's. <laughs> oh, I know. You're mad at me. Jimma. Jimma is just so sweet and lovable. Here she is. She are we gonna, have are we gonna pose her up and see how she looks? Yeah, push button. that head back. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> can y'all can y'all can y'all tell? She is just so well behaved. Oh, see if I do it, I'm gonna be in the way of the camera. She just doesn't like me. Okay, well, okay. Let me room, give me room to get through here, and I'll give it a shot. And she's pushing against me. She don't like me. Oh, she don't like nobody. I'm not her favorite person. This, she does have a tendency, tendencies to not be the most, have the best temperament Hello. for a rabbit, a doe rabbit of her age. She's a little bit flat across her top line. Let's see, but no, it could be that I've got her over, overposed a little bit. Feet. Let me see here. But she's still, she's still a little bit long in body, but... You know, we get her set up here, but see here, I don't have her feet right either. She's just not wanting to cooperate and let me pose her right now. Uh, but we're going to continue working with her between now and the weekend. Sit up there, sugar. But she's just not got the best temperament for a rabbit of her size and age and breed and everything. But she was the best we had at the time we had to make our entries. So she's going to go to the show. See that? See that beautiful flyback fur? She's doing pretty good. See, she's got some that are still flying out. That's what the little slicker brush is good for. If you got your wet hands, little wet hands, and you can get some of that fur to stick to it. But uh, a lot of times, that just working them with bare hands like this, sometimes you won't even need a brush. But you just keep working that, and you get that loose hair to come out. See all that loose hair? You want to stand, yeah. You definitely want to stand for, with the wind blowing away from you. But, uh, yeah, see how that's catching? Yeah. Try going the other way first. This way? Yep. Hey. But Gemma's still got a bit of a molt going on. But she, for the most part, it's over. And uh, you still got a few days till show. 
she's not in the ideal condition, but you know, we'll see how it happens. Uh, she can definitely be placed. She's not a DQ or anything like that, but uh, she, her coat is not in the best of condition, at least not like the other two guys that we, we just looked at. Sorrel has had a tremendous, y'all saw him first. He has had, he had an awful molt to say the least. Uh, just, um, well, he still wasn't quite over it when we went to Murfreesboro. That was probably part of our problem there. But uh, he, he is so much better now. His, his, his fur is so much, he's, he's grown that back in. He's dark red and he's got, uh, Grown back in nice and soft. But uh, let's see, who do we have? Who do we have after him? Her, uh, Bianca. But as you can see on a rabbit yeah. like this, yeah. when they're not molting really badly, you know, see that? She's in good shape. Don't bite me. Now, Gemma don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that with a straight face? I can't. Not looking at Allie, I can't. Mm -hmm. Did you see that face she gave me? I did. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, Gemma. Eat this. What, uh, what, what, what we're laughing about is, is some of these does, when they are approaching adulthood and they are ready to become mamas, some of the does can become quite a handful. Yeah. They the they they want to slap at you with their paws, and sometimes they will bite. Right, yeah, Allie? Yeah, a lot. Right, Allie? Yeah. Well, honey, you're just so sweet. They just like the taste of you. That's all. You're like no, Sally's just <laughs> mean. If they take Sally's a if they take a bite out of you, they just think they're eating a bite yeah, of that's the problem. chocolate she's or a white pregnant. cake. No, just huh? pregnant. Yeah, Sally's just pregnant. That's her problem. Yeah. And they're very cute. Yeah. Oh, she'll see what they're. But. Uh, you know, this is pretty well. People, a lot of people talk about grooming their rabbits and what have you. Well, if you've got a wool breed like an Angora or a Lionhead or yes, something like that, you you've got a lot of work to do. But on most of these Mini Rex hey, and New Zealand, that? most of it they do it themselves. You know, if they're either they're in good coat or they're not. We just feel like we owe it to them to give them a little special attention. You know, they're. They're going to go through a little extra stress over the weekend and going to the show and what have you. So we feel like they deserve a little extra love and attention beforehand. And of course, they will get that love and attention during the show as well. We do all this. We, we go through and we check everybody and give them some love and attention right before they go on the show table in the mornings. Or, yeah, in the morning before the show. And uh, just kind of just kind of keep them, keep, keep them hopefully cool and comfortable all day long. What? What'd you say? I said la 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 la. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much all we do. Yay. You got a flipper? I'm like, I get the flipper. <laughs> okay. Squeeze. Yep. Get a hold of the hide and be, and just don't pull on the ears. Just kind of sandwich the ears in between your fingers there. Mm. That's just to help. That's just to help control the side to side movement of her head. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yep. You got it. Do, do your teeth first and work that way. That way you don't miss nothing. How do your teeth look? They look good. Okay. Now, move down. You want to check, make sure she don't have any knots or anything. Woo! Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they, a rabbit will develop a knot under its skin on its belly, and you want to make sure, check for that. Check the toenails, make sure they're white, make sure none are broke, no toes are broken. Ooh, try to see. <laughs> okay, we can't show a rabbit with broken toes or missing toenails. Mm, no, no. And they have to all be dark. They're all dark. That's on, that's on a red. On a, a black rabbit, a black New Zealand has to have dark. Mm -hmm. A white, has, a white to has to have white or translucent, mm -hmm. whatever you choose to call it. Anyway, on a white, the toenails are almost see-through. Mm -hmm. On a blue, I would assume that they're dark as well, since that's that's out of a, basically a blue is a black rabbit. Uh, sure and that is good. a doe, right? It is a doe. Her toes, nice, her toes are nice and straight? Yeah. Her toes, See? her tail. Tail is nice oh, and straight. Yeah. Okay. You can't take a rabbit with right tail. Well, you can show a rabbit with right tail, but if it's a broken tail, it's a DQ. Yeah. You may as well leave them at home. Her tail is good. Okay. All right. Ready to flip back over? Now you can just let go over and she'll do it. Okay. But, there okay. you go.
That'll work. I figured she, I don't need her. See, either. this is all just, see she's got one little spot here. See how that looks out of place? That little streak right up her back? Yeah. That's gonna, that's one, that's a portion that she's gonna molt and blow out yet. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it'll all lay, see how when you move this, see how it all falls right back into place? Yeah. Just fly okay. back first. That's, that's the good coat. And it, yeah, it flies back right, right back into place. So we call yeah. it what, Allie? Fly back first. Right. Mm -hmm. And this little spot right here up the center, it's not flying right back into place. So guess what? No. That's some, see there? See how that's that looks out of place? That, mm -hmm. That's going to improve as she continues her molting, her, her molting pattern or whatever. And that's probably still not going to be perfect even before the show, but um, we'll see. Maybe the judge will like enough other things about her that he will not fault her too heavily for that. We'll see. So is she all done and ready to go? I think she's all done. So Gemma's all done and ready to go. Okay, we've got a couple more bunnies to do. I think we're going to move around to the back of the house, folks. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Yep.